China has made a monumental discovery that could reshape the future of global energy production. At the Bayanobo Mining Complex in Inner Mongolia, geologists have uncovered a vast reserve of thorium, a radioactive metal with the potential to power the country for an estimated 60,000 years. Detailed in a recently declassified geological survey, this find positions China as a leader in the pursuit of sustainable nuclear energy and prompts critical questions about the future of fossil fuels and traditional nuclear power. What is thorium? Thorium is a naturally occurring radioactive element, often hailed as a safer and more efficient alternative to uranium, the fuel most commonly used in nuclear reactors today. Unlike uranium, thorium is more abundant in the Earth's crust and generates less long-lived radioactive waste. When utilized in molten salt reactors, thorium can produce up to 200 times more energy than traditional uranium reactors while posing a significantly lower risk of meltdown. A Beijing-based researcher encapsulated its promise, stating, the endless energy source lies right under our feet. The discovery, a massive reserve. The Bayan Obo mining complex, already renowned for its rich deposits of rare earth minerals, has emerged as the epicenter of this groundbreaking discovery. The site is estimated to hold one million tons of thorium, a figure derived from a comprehensive national survey completed in 2020 and published in the Chinese journal Geological Review. This survey identified 233 thorium-rich zones across China, suggesting that the nation's total reserves could be even larger than the Bayan Obo estimate alone. However, Exact figures remain classified for national security reasons, adding an element of intrigue to the scale of this resource. China's Thorium Ambitions China is not merely stockpiling this resource. It is actively developing the technology to harness it. In the Gobi Desert, the country is constructing the world's first thorium molten salt reactor, slated to become operational by 2029. This experimental reactor, designed to generate 10 megawatts of electricity, marks a significant milestone in the commercialization of thorium-based nuclear power. For the uninitiated, molten salt reactors differ from conventional nuclear reactors by using a liquid fuel mixture that includes thorium. This design allows for continuous operation and efficient energy production while operating at lower pressures, reducing the risk of accidents and enhancing safety. If successful, this technology could pave the way for a new era of nuclear energy that aligns with China's strategic goal of reducing reliance on fossil fuels amid its growing energy demands. Challenges on the horizon Despite its potential, thorium is not a magic bullet. Extracting it from the ground requires substantial amounts of acid and energy, making the process both resource-intensive and costly. Moreover, the technology for thorium reactors remains in its infancy. Unlike uranium, thorium must be converted into uranium-233 through neutron bombardment, adding complexity to the fuel cycle. Developing the infrastructure to support widespread thorium use will demand significant investment and innovation. There are also lingering concerns about the byproducts of thorium processing. While experts assert that thorium is not viable for nuclear weapons, the possibility of misuse remains a point of discussion. These technical and economic hurdles underscore that thorium's promise is not guaranteed. It must be earned through persistent effort and ingenuity. Global Implications China's thorium discovery could ripple across the global energy landscape. As the nation advances its thorium technology, other countries may feel compelled to accelerate their own research into alternative energy sources. India, for instance, has been developing its thorium program for decades. 
leveraging its significant domestic reserves. Nations like Turkey and the United States have also explored thorium's potential, though China appears to be pulling ahead in both resource acquisition and technological development. If thorium proves viable, it could reduce global dependence on fossil fuels and traditional nuclear power, potentially shifting geopolitical dynamics and fostering a new era of energy independence. Yet, this advantage may come with competitive pressures, as countries vie to secure their own energy futures in a rapidly changing world. The discovery of a thorium reserve capable of lasting 60,000 years is undeniably significant, but it is not a done deal. Claims of free electricity for all are hyperbolic. While the fuel may be abundant, the costs of extraction, processing, and infrastructure development are far from negligible. Skeptics have raised doubts about the feasibility and timeline of thorium's widespread adoption, and these concerns merit attention. Ultimately, the path to harnessing thorium's full potential is fraught with many challenges.